Hello students, welcome to my channel online biology tutorials. In this video, we will take few problems related to the human blood groups, right? So the first problem is a man having blood group O. So here in such type of questions, always better to write everything, okay? So man has blood group O and the woman has blood group B and they have a daughter. What would be the blood group of the daughter? Very easy. Man is with blood group O. So here we would be writing his genotype. In the case of woman, however, two possibilities would be there. A woman could be homozygous dominant or the woman could be heterozygous dominant. So we would be solving two cases here. In case one, we will take the genotype of the man as IOIO. Whereas, we will take the genotype of the woman as homozygous dominant. Whereas, in case 2, the genotype of the man will stay IOIO. Whereas, the genotype of the woman will be heterozygous. Because in the question, they have not mentioned that either the blood group is homozygous or it is heterozygous. So, simply we will form the gametes here. In this case, the gamete will only be IO, whereas in this case, the woman will only produce the gamete IB. So, if we are talking about F1 generation in this case, it will be IB, IO. Remember, when you are writing the genotype, always the dominant allele is written first. So, because B is dominant in comparison to O, we would be writing B first. So, in this case, 100% of the offsprings will be with B blood group. PG is blood group. Okay. So, we will solve this question and we will write if the genotype is uh, IB, IB for women, then in this case 100% means the daughter born will be with blood group B. Now, let's come to the case 2. In this case, our gametes would be IO here and here we will have two gametes. IB and IO. Now for solving this, we would be making the Punnett square. And in Punnett square, we always write the gamete of male on the X axis. Whereas of the female, we would be writing on the Y axis. So it will become IB, IO, IO, IO. So one total individuals are two. 1 out of 2 is with blood group B. 1 out of 2 is with blood group O. So, that means if you multiply it by 100, then 50% will be with blood group B and 50% will be with blood group O. So, in this case, case number 2, you will write that daughter has 50% chances. You will write here daughter has 50% chance of being B blood group. Remember, you have to solve the heredity problems in descriptive way. If you will write in short, examiner will deduct the marks. Okay, so daughter has 50% chance of being blood group and 50% chance of being O blood group. So, this is the solution to this question. I hope it is understood. Let's move on to next one now. Next question seems difficult, but it is not at all. And it says a couple with a newborn baby is troubled that the child does not resemble either of them. Suspecting that a mix-up occurred in, at the hospital, they check the blood type of the infant. It is type O. Because the father is type A and the mother is type B, they conclude that a mix-up has definitely occurred. Are they correct? Give reason for your answer. So here, they have said that the father has type A blood group, whereas the mother has type B blood group, whereas for the infant the blood group is given as type O. Okay, that means O blood group. Now, they are saying that a mix-up has occurred and they are not sure whether the child is there only. 
so how to find out we will write the genotype in this case students we need to think about that the father will definitely be heterozygous that is his genotype would be iaio whereas in the case of mother it would be ibio that means both mother and father they are required to be heterozygous because in this case only they will be able to produce the infant with o blood group let's see how now the gametes in this case would be in the case of men it will be ia and io right and in the case of women it will be ib and io so let's make the punnett square for better conclusion we'll be writing the gametes of the male on the x axis whereas for the female we'll be writing here on the y axis so once we are done we will be writing the genotypes in between it will be ia ib it will be i b i o i a i o i o i o in this case the phenotype will be a b blood group here it would be b blood group here it would be a and here it would be o so what is the probability because we have got four individuals so every time it will be 1 upon 4 into 100 makes 25% same 1 by 4 out of um, 1 by 4 into 100 to calculate the probability in percentage one out of total four individuals are containing a blood group and one out of four is containing o blood group right so we have probability to have A B blood group twenty five percent, B blood group twenty five percent, A blood group twenty five percent, and O blood group twenty five percent. So we have equal probability to get. Here the question is saying infant has type O. So are they correct? No, the parents are wrong. The child is not mixed up. It is there. Uh, child only biological child because father and mother might be heterozygous for both the blood groups and in this case they can produce the child with o blood group so you need to do uh, explain this no they are not correct because father and mother are heterozygous for their blood groups and in this case they have the chance to produce 25% of their children with blood group o i hope this is understood let's move on to next one now This is our next question, and it is asking a pregnant woman has an equal chance of her baby being blood group A or blood group AB. Which one of the following shows the possible genotypes of the woman and the father of her child? In this case, they have given us the genotypes. Might be this question will not come in MCQ, and they may ask you directly. in a word problem right so to find out the answer to such type of question we would be working upon each option and this option a let's see this one i a i a i b i o in this case the blood group of the child should come only as a or it could come as ab no other blood group should come we need to work upon each option okay so in this case the gametes will be ia and in this case the gametes will be ib and io so when this will mix with this it will give you ab and this will get mixed with this it will give you ia io which means a blood group right so here it will be ia ib that is why it has given you ab blood group so fortunately option a is coming at the as the right answer now we will work upon other um, options as well to make the concept clear let's see uh, c for option number b which says i a i b and it is crossed with i b i o why this is not the answer i a and i b will be the gametes in this case and here it will be i b e and i o so if we are making a punnett square we can write the gametes of male here and gametes of female here because they have not mentioned so we can consider any gamete of male or female 
so here it is giving us i a i b i b i b i a i o i b i o in this case see this one is blood group a b this one is b blood group this is a and this is b but in the question they are only given us a and a b but b is also coming so this option will be ruled out now let's see for i a i o and i b i o in this case also there will be two gametes so in this case again we'll be making the punnett square as i a i o i b i o in this case if we'll fill up we will get i a i b i b i o i a i o and i o i o that means it is a b blood group here it is b blood group here a blood group here and o blood group here but in the question it was only asking for a and a b so this and this is not fitting in that's why option c will not be the right answer now look look in for the last option which is saying i a i b and i a i o we'll be making punnett square of this again i a i b here i a i o here so once you are done with it you can fill in the genotypes and it is i a i b here be patient while making punnett squares in the exam because a small mistake will give you a wrong phenotype here the blood group will be a it would be ab it would be a and it would be b so this option has been ruled out because of this genotype and phenotype wishing you all the very best for your exams the blood group numerical seems difficult but they are not you just need to know the right genotype to get the right answer stay connected for more videos i have some more problems recorded for you thank you